Black Light here. Just checking in. I said I wasn't going to uh I wasn't going to release another video within a couple of weeks. But something I got to speak about. And I want to uh call y'all attention to this cat named Alex Jones. Now Alex Jones uh he uh, had a sit down with, uh, had a powwow with uh, Brother Minister Louis Farrakhan before the election, uh, Trump's election. I'm quite sure that you'll find it on uh, YouTube somewhere. And. <clears throat> I didn't like that that meeting between them two. I didn't like that meeting, but we uh, just sitting back and observing what developed after that meeting, and. Uh, Today is uh, the 21st of uh, March. I'm not quite sure I'm going to post this this today, but uh, just letting you know the time I was checking him out yesterday on the 20th, and he was talking about the CIA wiretapping. Uh, Trump so uh, now this wiretap is being done all over it's not the first time you know that uh, they're exposing this wiretapping of uh, everybody they wiretap everybody or Spy in on everybody. They're spying in, spying in on me right now. You know, you just just know that. Brothers talk about, uh, well, you know, uh, don't uh, tell them everything over YouTube. Save it for, for special meetings. I'm going to tell you. If you're a community active, activist or if you just got a reputation for pro-black, no matter what, what capacity you're in, uh, Christian, uh, Islam or whatever, you're going to be spied on. So, now myself, I was listening to Professor Griff break down the wiretap, the uh, spy, the wiretap or the spying on uh, the news that he got about uh, Trump being spied on or whatever. And... This is why I don't communicate, you know, have y'all call in on me, you know, call in and ask y'all opinion and about different things and whatever. And some some of y'all notify me. You know, I don't I don't, you know, too much uh Say your names all the time. Sometimes I, I was doing it at first, but then I stopped doing it. I never know who, who's, who's, uh, who's cool and who ain't cool with me. 
You know, I never know that. And I don't care to know it. I know one thing. That Caucasians in general. Don't. Like black people. They're not scared of us. And like y'all think. They're scared of us. They know they're not worried about us. In the manner in which I think they were, they are worried about us. You know, they don't fear us like that. Physically, fear us. They spiritually fear us. Some of them are wise enough to know that we are the first people on the planet, and that we got the universe on our side. As a rule. But the Caucasian like to break rules. He like to break laws. And he figured like there's no right and no wrong. It's how you think. And he's in survival mode right now. He's been like that, but right now he's fighting the weather. You know, among other things. But this guy, Alice Jones, he got a few blacks that follow him. See, they, they want to keep Islam out of the country. So they are uh, bad-mouthing Islam and demonizing Islam, see. They don't want it in the country. And they didn't mind the Jews being in the country, or the so-called Jews. They don't mind sending the Jews or the Israelites money, the so-called Israelites money. <clears throat> because they don't want that are trying to run the planet. They want to boss the whole planet. But they don't feel like they So uh I don't know if I'm gonna get it all in this what I'm trying to say in this one, but uh The plan is is a uh, is this. They want they want to uh, make it so Obama. You know he gonna be the monster. And because a lot of black people they didn't they didn't they didn't like Obama, the moves that Obama made they didn't like it. And. Uh, Obama had to make some moves because he got he trapped himself, you know. But they they wanted to uh, fix his soul, just like Kwame Kenyatta. I mean Kwame Kilpatrick. They want to fix his soul. You will never elect another black man again, you know. But it, quite a few quite a few people dug uh, Obama, and when Obama endorsed Hillary, that's why. Uh, she got the popular vote. But by the time they get through with Obama, Trump and Obama now, you know, uh, they they going to try to destroy Obama. So uh, this, this guy named Alex Jones, he's he not down for black people. You know, but he got a few black people working for him. And he got them bamboozled. They don't. They might know what's happening, but he, Donald, uh, Donald Trump and Alex Jones, they handling stacks. They got stacks. So brothers, you know they're they're turn coat for some stacks, man. They'll sell you out for some stacks. So, but you brothers and sisters 
or not to even get involved with politics. You should just stick to the spiritual side of things. You know. And uh, build your community up. You know, and build yourself up. And be prepared for whatever comes, you know. But don't follow in after them. You know, the wicked ones. Because... You will destroy yourselves. And so many of our people. Falling in after them. Especially the educated ones. You know. The educated. Blacks that. Work for the. Uh, Uncle Sam. They really. Don't understand their people. And the predicament. That the people are in. So we're going to cut this one short, come back with one more to explain a little bit deeper what I'm saying. This is Black Light Out.